Was there a global civilization which is responsible for many of the pyramids we find around the world? Now, when we think of pyramids, most of us will immediately think of Egypt. But did you know that pyramids have been discovered all over the world in places like Central and South America, over in Japan, in India, over in Europe, across Bosnia, even in China, and get this, even under the ocean? It's true. Let's delve into this amazing global pyramid mystery. Now, take a look at some of these images and you draw your own conclusions. Pyramids are not just exclusive to Egypt. In fact, these majestic structures have been found in various shapes and sizes and locations revealing a global fascination with pyramid building throughout our history. For example, in South America, countries like Mexico, Peru, and Guatemala are known for their pyramids, such as the famous Mayan and Aztec pyramids. And according to mainstream archeology span and history, these structures served as ceremonial, religious, and administrative centers for these ancient civilizations. This is highly debatable, and I'll go on to show you why later in the video, but every time we seem to discover an ancient building or megalithic structure, why is it that mainstream views are always that this place must be a place of worship? Why is it always that? Is all, <laughs> did ancient civilizations just pray and worship. It's, it just sounds daft. But we'll look at what I believe these structures to be later in the video. So moving eastwards across the world, let's talk about Japan. You heard that right. Japan is home to a unique pyramid called the Pyramid of Asuka, which dates to the 7th century, supposedly, because there are rumors that this pyramid was built many thousands of years ago. This pyramid-like structure is made of stone and is believed to have served Guess, guess what? It, guess what it was there for? As a tomb for an ancient emperor. Well, of course, like you'd expect it to be anything else from mainstream science. But anyway, did you know that in Japan there is also a pyramid that is so old that it's submerged beneath the ocean? But I'll talk about that a little later in the video. Now, moving along to another country, we have the fascinating story of the pyramid of the Mahabalipuram located in India. This has sparked debate about its age and purpose. The pyramid-like structure made of granite blocks is believed to have been built in the 7th century. Another building, another structure, supposedly built in the 7th century, but there are lots of people who do believe that this structure is thousands of years old. Now, did you know the tsunami of 2004 revealed a secret hidden for thousands of years related to this site? And according to ancient stories, there were seven temples that were regarded as a myth by many. However, a tsunami in 2004 hit southern India and something incredible happened. As the sea pulled back around 500 meters before the tsunami wave hit the shores of South India, tourists and fishermen saw rocks, inscriptions and sculptures emerge from the water. So as the water pulled back, it revealed secrets, secrets that have been hidden for thousands of years. Those rocks were in the shapes of lions, cows, peacocks and elephants, believed to be parts of the remaining temples. However, once the tsunami struck southern India, these remains submerged once again, leading many to believe that the story of the seven temples might actually be true. Later, archaeologists discovered an underwater site 700 meters east of the shore temple. There they found ruins of walls, old sculptures, books, and blocks of rectangular stones, and the remains of around 40 other monuments. All of these findings have led to the development of a school of thought that believes a part of the old Malapuram is hidden under the sea. The discovery has raised questions about the age and the history of the pyramid, and it could even be older than originally believed. And what could be the purpose of these submerged temples and structures? Lots of questions. But as I br briefly mentioned earlier about the submerged Japanese pyramid, here we have another structure or several submerged under the ocean. There are quite simply thousands of structures found under the ocean around the world. And I want to touch on it in this video as we cover some of the countries where we find pyramids. In fact, the topic of 
a global flood and rising sea levels and some of the structures and evidence to support this is something I will cover in another video. It's just simply too big a topic to cover with this current topic of global pyramids. So going back to the discussion around global pyramids, did you know there have been pyramids found in Europe? So specifically here, we're looking at Bosnia and we have the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun, which has been a controversial discovery to say the least. Some claim it to be a pyramid while others dispute it. The pyramid-like shape of the structure and the presence of tunnels and chambers have led to speculation about its origin and purpose, but it's still a topic of ongoing research and debate amongst experts. And also, moving on to another location, China. China has pyramids. Now these Chinese pyramids are supposedly called the pyramids of Xi'an or Xi'an. They are supposed to be shaped like mounds believed to house tombs for emperors and nobles from the Han dynasty. So that's another pyramid discovered, supposedly a tomb. You get that there's a theme here, right? There's a theme coming out from mainstream science. These structures dating back over 2,000 years, highlighting the cultural significance and diversity of pyramid-like structures across the world. So, look, going back to Japan, pyramids there have been found under the water, adding another layer of mystery to this phenomenon. For instance, the uh, Yonaguni Monument, if I pronounce that correctly, Yonaguni Monument in Japan is a submerged pyramid-like structure that sparked debates about its natural or man-made origin. I mean, some people are out there suggesting that water has created these pyramid steps. Take a look for yourself. Use your common sense, use your brain. Tell me what it tells you, because to me, it tells me it's not natural, it's man-made. And similarly, we have the Azores in Portugal, there are underwater pyramid known as the pyramids of the mid-Atlantic range that have believed to have been submerged and remnants of an ancient civilization in that location too. So multiple civilizations with structures under the ocean. As I mentioned before, the discussion around submerged structures is going to be for another video, but don't you find it fascinating that we are finding structures similar to what we have on land around the world, but we're finding it now beneath the ocean. For the ocean to completely submerge these great ancient structures by hundreds of meters, you have to go back thousands of years and ask yourself, what happened around the world which dramatically increased sea levels and nearly wiped mankind off the face of the earth? However, which most definitely destroyed entire civilizations around the time in the world? where the survivors of that impact somehow made it to safety and passed on the legends of their own civilizations through stories and teachings which we find across the world now. As I say, the topic of a global flood and underwater structures is for an, um, another day, but it certainly interweens and, and intermingles with these great pyramid structures that we find across the world. And moving back to the discussion of these pyramidic structures. One of the most intriguing aspects of these pyramids is their striking similarity in terms of construction techniques being located in different parts of the world. Many of the pyramids were built during a time when air and ocean travel had not been invented, which begs the question, how do these ancient civilizations, separated by vast distances and continents and big oceans, how do they share similar building methods and techniques? Mainstream views of these similarities is that their knowledge of pyramid construction may have been transmitted through cultural exchange, trade or migration. While ancient civilizations may not have had the means for long distance travel, they could have had contact through indirect means like trade routes or cultural diffusion or even shared ancestral heritage. It's also possible that the idea of building pyramids emerged independently in different parts of the world, influenced by similar cultural, religious or societal factors. However, it doesn't still explain how similar cultures or similar structures rather are found on different continents and why pyramids found across the Americas are similar in nature to those in Europe and in Africa and Asia. The only explanation is that builders of these great structures could travel via air or via sea. That makes sense, doesn't it? And another intriguing aspect 
is the advanced engineering and architectural skills that were required to construct the Great Pyramids. Many of the structures exhibit precise and sophisticated construction techniques, including the use of large stone blocks, precise astronomical alignments, intricate carvings and complex geometrics. These techniques require a very deep understanding of mathematics, astronomy and engineering, which indicates a high level of knowledge and expertise amongst these ancient civilizations. Mainstream views are that the pyramids were religious and ceremonial centers for tombs for rulers or noble people. But the shocking truth, which many people still don't realize, is that not a single mummy has ever been found inside a pyramid. So how are they meant to be tombs for rulers? Nothing's ever been found. The view is that some of these pyramids had the mummy stolen. It's, it just doesn't make, there's holes everywhere. Open your eyes and do your own research. The location of Mary, many of these pyramids around the world is another intriguing aspect to explore. Many researchers and enthusiasts have speculated about the significance of their locations. Some believe that it could be related to the Earth's energy fields or even a global power grid. One of the theories suggests that pyramids were constructed at specific geographical locations with high energy concentrations. Some researchers propose that these ancient civilizations may have had advanced knowledge of Earth's energy lines, ley lines, or even vortexes and intentionally built these pyramids at those very specific points to harness or amplify those energies. This theory suggests that the pyramids were not only physical structures, but also energy devices designed to tap into the natural energy of the Earth and support the local population. Another theory proposes that the locations of pyramids were strategically chosen for their alignment with celestial bodies such as stars, planets, or constellations. Some researchers believe that these alignments may have held cultural, religious, or symbolic significance for the ancient civilizations that built the pyramids. It's possible that the pyramids were designed as a celestial uh, observatory or something to mark or track the astronomical events and align them with cosmet, uh, cosmic energies, but it's, it's, it's all debatable. It's important to note that these theories are just speculative and have not been universally accepted by the scientific and mainstream community. The exact reasons for the specific locations of the pyramids around the world remain a topic of ongoing research and debate. One thing is for clear, they were definitely not used as a religious place of worship, nor were they a burial site for tombs and mummies. Could it be possible that the civilizations predating our current timeline is responsible for building global pyramids tens of thousands of years ago, and that the civilization perished around 12,000 years ago during the Younger Dryas period? This theory has sparked excitement and skepticism amongst researchers and experts and there are arguments for and against this i mean people who believe this theory argue that the similarities in pyramid structures found across different continents suggest that a global civilization predates our current understanding of human history they believe that these pyramids were created with the advanced construction techniques and precision they could not have been built by an isolated and unrelated civilization but instead they point to a common origin. One of the main arguments in favor of the theory is that the advanced construction techniques used in pyramid construction, precise, precision engineered, high engineering, the alignments of stones in pyramids such as the Great Pyramid of Giza, the Pyramid of the Sun in Mexico, and the Pyramid of Teotihuacan in Mexico, they are all considered remarkable achievements that would have required advanced knowledge of mathematics, architecture, and engineering. Another argument put forth is that there is a global distribution of pyramids. Pyramids have been discovered not only in Egypt, but in South America, Asia, Europe, and even underwater. And researchers argue that the sheer number of geographical distribution of pyramids around the world indicate a global civilization that had the capability to travel and build structures in different regions. And furthermore, to support the theory of a global civilization, they point to the astronomical alignments found in many of the pyramids. For example, 
the alignment of the pyramids of Giza with the stars of Orion's belt, or the alignment of the Mayan pyramids with the celestial bodies. They suggest to an advanced understanding of astronomy and cosmology that was not thought to exist during the supposed time period of these civilizations. But as I always say, the information is available to you. You just need to be able to do your research and access it, read through what's available and make up your own mind about things. Keep an open mind and don't always believe what is being told to you. Do your own research. Don't be afraid to question things. Go and learn about things yourself. Everything is available. You just need to be able to go for it, read it, understand it, make up your own mind. Use your common sense and your own gut feeling. And that's usually the best place to start. There's a lot more to ancient pyramids, lost civilizations and submerged structures, which I hope to bring you in a future video. But for now, thank you for watching.